Summer Fridays, Butter Bomb in Birthday Cake eats every single time. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Colleen and in today's video I am doing something very old that I used to do all the time. I'm doing a haul, a clothing haul. I haven't done this for years now I feel. If I have then it was like a sponsored one but this is like an actual wardrobe reset that I actually spent my own money on. However there are some things that were sent to me but I'm not being sponsored to feature them in this video. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been wearing recently. If you guys want to see what I've been wearing recently and what my favorite pieces are, then stay tuned. And if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram along with my TikTok. I will link both of those in the description box for you guys. So I did get these things in the mail today and I just wanted to unbox them because I always tell you guys I'm trying to accumulate so much PR and I just get too excited that I just unbox them. So if you guys want to see real live story posts of some PR packages that I do get, make sure you follow me on my Instagram because that is the fastest way I will ever get any kind of content out. This is my first PR package from YSL, so I was really excited. It is their new waterproof mascara. This is a Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara, and it just looks so bougie. And now they made a waterproof one, which for the Asian girlies, you know exactly how it feels when it's like super humid or you're literally just walking in room temperature and your lashes just go straight. Yes, I'm using my lip gloss to open my box. Um, but this is from the brand Basma. They sent this over like a couple weeks ago. Oh my god. To start off with some OG stuff that they have, I believe this is a foundation stick. How many foundation sticks did they send? Packaging slay. Oh my god, I just realized this is like magnetic. This is shade 32. 33 might be the slay. This one is 32 and then this one is 33. You guys can't even see it. Can you see? 35, 33, and then 32. Now for the girlies, the blushes. <gasps> Guys, this freaking shade is awesome. Okay, but all of these shades look so good and I'm so excited to try them. I'm obsessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back to scheduled business here. The first thing is this little cost bag. Honestly, all I have to say is this is my everyday bag. It also probably doesn't help that I am wearing black and I'm showing you a black bag. So let's just leave it up to the try on portion. Honestly, it's just such a good sized bag. And a lot of people have said that it's a really similar silhouette to the Uniqlo one. And I've influenced so many people in my life to purchase this. So um, it comes in multiple colors as well, but I just love it. I can literally fit everything and anything that I want. But life hack for the girlies who wear really just open concept bags. I love keeping a pouch with me and I love to keep like a really cute pouch to put my toiletries in it. I feel like that's so much more convenient than being like scrummaging through your bag to find it and all you have are receipts. She's a queen and iconic. Now I've done my fair share of Aritzia purchases. This is the Lundi shirt. I believe that's Tuesday in French. Lundi, Mardi, Mercury, Jardi. I think Lundi means Monday. It is just a simple little black tank top here. I don't know what it is. I thought that I could probably wear this with like some loose mid-rise jeans with some flip-flops or like a sneaker for the summertime. My friend, she also mentioned that it kind of looks like brandy, so. I love a brandy little silhouette. I was not expecting to be buying a little black dress, but the way that it just fit and ate up my waist, I had to purchase. So it's just this straight across square neck top. I love it so much. It's just a really nice basic dress to either like wear with like a little t-shirt underneath or under a blazer. Screenshot for the style. I got the Sunday Best little ribbed t-shirt. I love how this fits so I'm happy to be getting another one. I got this in an extra small and I just feel like it was a lot more fitted when I tried it on the first time. I will say I do really like the fit of it even when it was a little bit stretched out so 
I have to say this is this is a good one. This one I got quite a while ago, but honestly, it's my favorite sweater right now. Got my hands on the new Aritzia hoodie. This is the drop shoulder sweater. I wish I had more surface area to show you. It doesn't have the kangaroo pocket, which I personally do like because it elevates it slightly, makes it look a little bit more sophisticated with no pockets. What I can say is that I've been wearing it so frequently and I think you guys need to try it too once it comes back in stock because it's out of stock right now. But for reference, if you guys are wondering what size I am wearing, I am wearing a size 1. These pants from Aritzia were giving like everyday like casual vibe but also very elevated because it's their like crepette fabric. But this is the ID on the pant. This is going to be one of my most worn pants. Number one because it has the tie, so it does make it a little bit more of a relaxed fit. They actually had the lodge pant in a linen prior to, and I think they just made it into a crepe pet, and I cannot be any happier. For these ones, I got in an extra small because I did want them to be a little bit looser. The next place, this place actually sent me some things. This is from Oakenfort. Shout out to Oakenfort for even reaching out and wanting to send me the stuff. I haven't got that in a really long time. I need to get back on my content creating, y'all. So. so if you guys want to support me and you guys want to see more vlogs, make sure you guys are liking this video and also commenting, sharing, and subscribing. But anyways, First thing, this one I actually bought by myself with my own money, but this is a gray vest. Sorry, my hanger is dirty. I really like this. I thought of maybe wearing it with like a little bralette underneath with like some jeans, loafers maybe. I think that would be a really cute outfit and I think that's what I'm going to wear on Saturday when I go out. I feel like it's just so grandpa vibe, but I got it in an extra small and it also came in three colors. Black, this gray and then a white some other things that they sent me this is a little knit but it has like this print on it and i think it's really cute they sent me this leather little side bag and i thought this was so cute i think for like a day where i wanted a more elevated version of my everyday bag that i showed you earlier i think this is probably going to be her and it sits just right here and i think it's so cute if you guys live in toronto i don't know if they have the store anywhere else but if you guys live in toronto and you're looking for jeans like super loose basic jeans like I don't even know how to explain it you'll see it these are from the brand Darumi they're like this acidy wash I wouldn't even say acid but they're like a worn in like faded denim and I have my belt in it because I literally I can't even lie to you I've been wearing it every single day I love these jeans to death I think I need another pair <sighs> I don't know why it felt like I bought so much, but this was this is just enough. This is just enough for spring. Let me know if you guys would like to see a clean my closet with me. I love those videos. I love you guys, and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see on my channel. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.